Zainuddin, born in 1970. The person uh, isn't who starts the talent of painting, but his talent is born with him. I mean, the person may not discover or know that he's an artist since he is so young. But after experiences, he gets to know that he has his own talent. And he develops it by the artistic studying, by media, culture, or making researches, and so on. In addition to the practical matters, he discovers that he is an artist, and like this, I discovered myself. But uh, surely this thing happened uh, after uh, suffer. It wasn't easy, I mean, I didn't occur suddenly or wanted to be a painter, uh, but it's kind of an accumulation that composed my character like how an embryo is composed. And it resulted uh, in a thing related to art, you can say an artist, a painter, a person who expresses or a person who dreams, all these are possible to be said. At first, the school had a big effect because I, usually in the schools they give uh, drawing courses and in the period of drawing, I was very distinctive. I used to draw in a very professional way with respect to my age. I used to see my drawings as beautiful and also art teachers saw them uh, as well and encouraged, me, and encouraged me and inspired me to continue. I remember a funny incident that happened uh, that happened during a math class. The teacher was explaining the lesson and I was drawing him. So the supervisor saw me from behind the window. He caught me, and but he didn't punish me or insult me, but encouraged me and said that my future will be very important. I still remember these words, uh, and what happened uh, is what he said. In general, uh, the only thing that people know about painting is that it's a kind of work to earn money or a hobby, that is just for fun. But because the person likes it. As for me, I try to gather the two things approximately. The story started as a hobby at first. It started by few experiences and then I started to uh, evolve it uh, step by step until I discovered uh, this talent. I was uh, working in a restaurant as a waiter. I mean, my career was so far from art. I used to supply food uh, to people after finishing my work. Uh, I used to go and start drawing and uh, then bring my pictures and drawings to exhibit them in the place that I worked in. So when the customers used to come, they start asking about the painter. The, um, the classy... Uh, a strata of society started to come there and they started to uh, ask about uh, who is uh, drawing these because they understand the meaning and appreciate these talents. Uh, they asked the manager who is the painter and uh, he led them to me. All this gave me an inspiration to be creative more and more and to evolve uh, this, uh, th this talent. Another thing, after that experience, I was still in my secondary level. I crossed the second section, our classes, to back, back, uh, baccalaureate. And uh, then I entered university. I told my parents that I should complete in the domain of uh, drawing and painting because my talent was already here and I should go ahead. But surely my parents rejected. They didn't like it because in their opinion, drawing isn't a way to gain or earn money to live. They told me that I should be a doctor, an engineer, or uh, in the domain of industry or any other thing. I studied my uh, first year around the 90s and then got engaged and left university. After nine years approximately, I came back to studying and continued. I was married and I had, I had children that I completed my studies. The nine years that I stopped uh, gave me more strength and evolved in uh, the domain of uh, painting and when the artist enters a relation his whole life uh, won't be his anymore, it will be for the other person. During the Israeli invasion I, in 1982, I was around 12 years old. I was young when the invasion happened. In school we used to draw things with 
related to this, like drawing a barbed wire or a flower that's bleeding or resistance, uh, sitting beside a rock or striking a tank by a B7. Mm -hmm. All these ideas were due to the launching of the resistance against the enemy, but uh, way because they affected us since we were very young, our parents uh, raised us on them. So these uh, things affected my drawing, my artistic journey. It didn't affect me only, but also affected all the whole of the society. Uh, I, I was tried as much as I can to express through drawing and things that happened in relation to the invasion and the suffering and oppression that we faced, which inspired me more and gave me more strength to be creative and produce beautiful artistic uh, things. Drawing, painting in general is something that originates from a deep emotion in the human being who expresses it by scratching maybe uh, or by placing a black color in a white point uh, and um, it all depends on the thing that what he's feeling. The more he feels, the more he expresses. As for the issue of Ahlul Bayt, I worked in something that's related to Islamic letters. Islamic letters is very beautiful and superior art, and approximately it is considered as a modern art. Unlike old Islamic uh, Arabic or art that were symmetrical to each other and repeated, uh, a lot of artists worked in this art in Lebanon. They were creative and produced an artistic school as well. As for Karbala, it affected me since I was in school. Each year in Ashura, I was asked to draw things related to Karbala because I was the, mo the most clever in class and uh, the school, uh, and, and drawing, I mean. And these things affected uh, my character the most were the condolences ways uh, that had been uh, made and the stories that had been told to us. Uh, when I used to attend the Wade, I was being so affected and expressing my ideas and feelings in an ambiguous way. A lot of painters drew about Karbala. They drew the horse and the arrows, they drew the sabaya, they drew uh, Al Abbas uh, uh, beside the, the river. In other words, they drew Karbala incident in so many different ways. Uh, I tried to express Karbala incident in a panoramic way. Uh, working on the shadows, like drawing the sunset, uh, that includes things which express their reality in a very different and attractive way. And simultaneously, it tells a message to people, which uh, which is Karbala is not only bloods and words. Uh, it's about a human, humane, and a very effective issue, like how Allah created the earth. I consider that Allah created the incident to tell humanity a message about oppression, about sacrificing, self-esteem, and hundreds of things that are related to human humane life. So I embody this incident in this way that is very expressive, I guess, and I can't speak about my work except after it, it's being uh, seen. I mean, the person, after seeing uh, an issue, he can evaluate it. As for the technique, uh, the materials that we use are the acrylic and oil paints, oil colors, and um, in the panoramic that I talked about, I tried to work it in a graphic way. I tried to develop it in a way that I mix colors together, line, uh, and there is a line in the sunset. We start by yellow and we start uh, to reach the black. 
um, which is a gradual coloring and dark lines is broken by the sun ray and so we use here soil colors like red which is blood color and also we use black which resembles oppression of course you can't use colors such as pink and green so I tried as much as I could to work in colors that, regref that uh, reflect the grief which expresses the whole incident uh, the color for me is a breath so like um, how human beings breathe and drink water to stay alive the colors are the same when I hold a paintbrush to start coloring I feel that I start loving life I feel that I'm giving something related to human creation which is created by Allah because Allah created us and granted us the brain and the talent to be creative so colors are very important matter to me Karbala incident in general tells us about the oppression that Ahlul Bayt suffered from and especially when al Hussein peace be upon it's a huge oppression there is uh, something called patience which is that Imam al Hussein and his family so when the painter wants to draw a panel he has to be patient so he can't draw it so easily that's the patience of Ahlul Bayt their suffering and sacrificing affected me a lot and let me embody this character in my way which is as a, a gradualness of ideas like that of colors I embodied the whole incident from the moment it started until it's finished I'm a democratic person at some point I'm with the freedom of expression but this freedom when it's about religious uh, shrines, it has red lines, it has limits that we can't cross. I mean, regardless of how much a person is democratic, civilized, or with the freedom's ex uh, expression of freedom, when it's about religious symbolism that are related to prophets, messengers, and so on, we, he should stop because here we start going to taboos so surely I'm against it and I'm preparing something related to this subject which is called the contrary war I will start as much as I can to transmit an opposite idea via Facebook or social networks in my work maybe I'm nothing in this domain but each person does what he is supposed to do in life and transmit a message that only Allah knows where it will reach so the important thing is that I'll do my duties in this issue and won't let anybody deform uh, me and my religious rights and surely by drawing a person can transmit hundreds of messages and when they draw things that humiliate or profit I won't reply by drawing the same things that insult or hurt their religion but I will try to transmit my message by a sentence maybe a status or an electronic word that they are using against us via the Mossad, the Zionism I'm not against Jewish but uh, I'm against uh, which transformed it to, to Zionism. This is a very long subject and, and debate. So I'll try as much as I can to transmit a message in my own way. So I won't be able to express these things that I'm going to do, regardless of how much I talk about it, unless when they are shown and touched. I can surely express by art and drawing, where a poet can also express by words, and the journalist can express and relate things uh, to his own career. Art is branched a lot and uh, I mean that it can be limited in a specific corner and the graphic art in our becomes a modern art that can develop uh, it like how we want and flexible like a dough. I moved on to work doing things related to masks like doing arabesque and drawing letters and other things that are related to decorative paints like sites uh, juggleries. For example, we draw or we write holy names of Allah as if they are written in a 3D uh, technique. This art is applied in many mosques in Beirut and now we will apply it in Iraq inshallah. There is uh, more than one project that will uh, work in order uh, to develop the Islamic mosque and to get out of the arabesque um, move on towards a more modern art uh, I mean uh, decorative art the artist shouldn't only draw right he should also be educated uh, he should read lectures and learn foreign languages in Lebanon or any other Arabic country 
uh, he should transmit a message which is that the Islam culture or Islam in general is very superior religion and not a terrorist religion. The terrorism was detected due to Zionism. Islam is a very superior religion. It is the religion of forgiveness and when Allah sent down Islam, he sent it for forgiveness, uh, beauty and pure issues and for human, humane values, not for terrorism and murder. Of course, I am able to transmit my message th through art and drawings. I draw panoramics, I draw wallpapers and other matters, and I generalize them by Facebook. I, I may make wallpapers on boulevards or beside bridges, so in general, the painter expresses through his panel or images as well. So when people see his drawings and understand his ideas, uh, they will be able to understand the story of Ahlul Bayt and how they suffered. This is a message by itself. And as for the oppression of Ahlul Bayt, uh, there is only one thing that comes always to my mind. It is an idea that is all about three colors, white, red, and black. That's it. I will express, I will explain this to you and if you, you can see it through my work, I don't mind that. Red is the color of the striking blood. Black is the color that resembles the dark line which passes over the blood. And the third most important is that the blood does not fall down to the ground but ascends to reach the sky. And this resembles the, when the martyrs die, his blood ascends to the sky.